Hello guys, welcome to the continuation of OSPF topic. So explaining the OSPF topic. And in this um, video, we are going to talk about the DR and the BDR selection. Okay, and OSPF uses router ID and priority value to elect the DR and the BDR for an OSPF multicast, multi-access network. By default, all routers have a priority of one. Okay, and this is done by using the IP or spare priority value command from the interface. And DR and BDR serve as the central point of exchanging OSPF router information. Each non DR and non BDR router will, uh, will exchange router information only with DR and the BDR instead of exchanging updates with every router on the network segment. DR then distributes topology information to every other router inside the same area which um, greatly reduces OSPF traffic by a lot, okay? So to send information to DR or BDR, the multicast address of 224.0.0.6 is used. DR sends routing updates to the multicast address for 224.0.0.5. If DR fails, the BDR takes over its role of redistributing routing information. So we are going to um, keep using the same um, network that we were using on the video before, which we explain the rules of SPF and how SPF works. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that video before watching this. Or if you already know the rules of it and do not know the DR and the BDR selection, just continue with this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at router one. Go ahead and end show IP or SPF, and from here we can do border routers. Okay, we don't have any show IP uh, neighbor, and we can see from right here that the neighbor ID is. Um, 192.168.10.2 and it has a priority of one and the state is full and we're using and this is the DR which is a default router okay and the address of it is 192.168.10.2 okay we can also do a show OSPF um, let's take a look at the database okay so this is the database of the um, OSPF. Um, what else we have over here? If we do interface, we can see that interface gigabit 00 is up. The line protocol is also up. Um, we're using this is the IP address that we're using on router one, and this is the stop name mask, and the area that we're using is area zero. Okay. So press ID that we have configured here is two, and the router ID. It's 192.168.10.1. Okay. And as you can see, that the designated router ID is 192.168.10.2. And the designated router or the DR is router 2. And why is the, um, why was router 2 big as a designated router? Well, it was picked because um, when these two were configured, because these two were configured first, R1 and R2 were configured first, um, since they were configured first, and they were trying to figure out who was going to be the designated router, what happened was that they were they both had the same priority. So this one had um, priority of one, router one had priority of one, and router two had the priority of one. Okay, since they were timing that, what happens is it went to the router um, ID of the OSPF. Since the uh, router ID of R2 was higher, which is 192.168.10.2, um, it was picked to be the designated router because it has a higher router ID than router 1 because router 1 router ID is 192.168.10.1. And if we go over here, we can take a look at that show IP or SPF interface. 
as you can see right here that the uh, router ID for the router ID for router 2 is 192.168.10.2 and therefore it was picked as the default router and then R2 R1 was picked as the um, backup router here we go backup router because he had a lower router ID of 10.1 and this one had a 10.2 okay but let's see if we do copy let's save our configurations copy run start and then copy run start over here too and if we power cycle the devices so power cycle what it's going to be do is that it's going to reboot the routers okay and you can take a look at that there we go it is rebooting the routers and who do you think is going to be the um, the designated router now is it going to be R0 R2 or R1 and who's going to be the backup router now is it going to be R0 R2 or R1 okay let's go ahead and fast forward and I believe that <coughs> since they all have the same priority priority of one they're gonna have a tie with the um, priority and what's going to happen then is going to go to the router ID and since R0 has the highest router ID of 10.3 um, what this is going to happen is that R0 is going to be the designated router so let's go ahead and take a look at that show I show IP or SPF interface okay let's go ahead and take a look at this Okay, the um, press ID that we have for R0 is 8. Router ID is 192.168.10.3. And who is the designated router? The designated router ID is 192.168.10.3. So that means that the designated router is router 0. And we can go ahead and verify that over here. Enable. Um, show IP or SPF interface. And you can see over here too. Press ID one for R2. And who is the designated router? 192.168.10.3, which is R0. And the backup router is 192.168.10.2, which is R2. And as you can see now, this is the designated router and this is the backup router. So now this is R1, it's just a non DR or non designated router. And also a non backup router. So if we do show IP or SPF interface, we can see right here that we're using press ID 2. The designated router is 192.168.10.3, and the backup router is 192.168.10.2, which is router 2, the backup, the backup router is router 2 and the designated router is r0 but what about let's say that i want this guy to be the designated router and then um i want r2 to be the i want r2 to be the um the backup router what we can do is we just can configure the priority so if we go to config T, I believe we do it from the interface, IP or SPF, this, the priority needs to be higher than anybody else. So since all of them is have the priority of 1, we can make this priority of 10. And since I want this one to be the backup, and I want it to be higher than R0, but lower than R1, we can configure the priority for that. Interface gigabit 00. zero. IP OSPF priority of 9 because it needs to be lower than R1 because R, I want R1 to be the designated router. So let's go ahead and end. Copy, run, start.
let's go ahead and save the configuration over here too copy run start okay so let's go ahead and power cycle the devices yes go ahead and fast forward that and now let's take a look and see who is the designated router since this one has higher priority than all of them our one is going to be the designated router and let's see and then our two is going to be the backup router because he has the second highest um, the second highest priority so if we go to our one show i show ip or spf interfaces and let's take a look at this for the first id is two the designated backup router is 192.168.10.1 which is router one and the backup router is 192.168.10.2 that's because we configure a priority of nine for this one and for this one was a priority of 10 and since this one is higher than all of them this one is going to be the um, designated router and this is going to be the backup router because it has the second highest and if we go to r0 and do a show ip or spf um, interface you can see over here that is showing that the designated router or the dr is router one and the backup designated router is router two okay and the state you can also take a look at the state of r0 is a designated router other and for this one is the state is the dr the designated router and for this one should be the backup router show ip or spf interface oops interface so here we go the state for this one is the backup designated router so this is how the dr the designated router the backup designated router and the designated other works so i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn a lot for your ccna and if you guys enjoy this video um, just go ahead and follow me on twitter at ccna daily tips where i post all my videos and i also post a lot of questions here as well and also um, if you really really enjoy this video go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel because i have a lot more of you of video coming up so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one guys bye bye